hello everyone today i would like to demonstrate the use of the 4x4 matrix keypad this is one of the most commonly used interfaces for inputting information on various microcontrollers and screens and therefore it's very important that you have the skill of how to use the keypad here I'm just showing the general setup of a keypad. The keypad is simply an arrangement of push buttons or switches arranged in various number of rows and columns. Here I'm using a 4x4 matrix. That means we have 4 rows and 4 columns. And I'm giving the summary of the, the logic that the keypad uses. The logic is simple. You just have to first make all the rows and columns high. Then you make one of the rows low and check which column is low and that indicates the pressed key. For example, if you make row 1 low and column 1 low, it means switch 1 is pressed. If you press switch 2, it means row 1 is low and column 1 is also low like that that is the simple logic which you have to follow when you are programming the matrix keypad programs it's a simple diagram of keypad and my project I'm going to be using this type of keypad this is a general purpose keypad in other words it has no letters or numbers so you can use any of the keys to represent any letter or any number just as i'll be showing in the programs that i'm going to be writing so this is the setup for interfacing the keypad and the seven segment display to 8051 microcontroller so we shall connect the keypad one of the ports for example in this case i've connected it to port one and the seven segment display is connected to port zero so you connect the number of rows from row one to row four from p1.0 to p1.3 and the columns from p1.4 1.7 then the setup is like this so now you can look at the program for running this setup this is our program in assembly language the major issue here is to understand the meaning of the JB instruction the JB instruction simply branches to the specified address in the second operand if the value of the bit specified in the first operand is 1 so for example here JB P1.4 next one means that if P1.4 is 1 then you go to next one. In other words, if you press the first button, then it means P1.4 is going to be zero. Therefore, you move to the next step. It means this binary value is going to be placed in port two, and you're going to display a value of one on the seven segment display. Otherwise, if this one is not pressed, the first button is not pressed it means you move to next one this other instruction then you check if the second button or the second column is low so this process is just repeated like that and these other binary values represent the numbers and letters to be displayed on a seven segment display if you need more details you can make reference to my previous video on interfacing a seven segment display to 8051 microcontroller i have explained more of this in detail so this is our first program then there's another program this one uses a data pointer and a lookup table in other words the lookup table we just put all the binary values for the letters and numbers to be displayed in a table like this then we have to use the move C and a DPR, the data pointer instructions. 
to be able to move these values in the port 2 so that they can be displayed on the 7 segment display so both of these programs can be used to run this simple project so now you can check it out in a simulation software this is our setup in Proteus software I want to see the simulation how the simulation is going to work so we can begin running the simulation because the program is already loaded here so you press here and then we begin pressing one of these keys at a time to see what is going to be displayed so when I press the first key here display one the second one two three a b c d four so you discover that when i press one of the keys here the corresponding number is shown on the seven segment display which was as explained in the software so you can now try to check it out using the hardware is the actual setup so here I'm having the general purpose 4x4 matrix keyboard this is my 7 segment display and this is my microcontroller so I'm going to upload the code and then I press one of the keys here to see what is going to be displayed here so if I upload my code here I begin pressing the keys if I press the first key you observe one I press the second key two the third key three if I press this one that's a you press this one four five six seven eight Nine, zero. So this key is representing letters. So you say this is A, this is small b, this is C, small d, E, and F. So that is our segment display, and it is working correctly. Hope you have enjoyed what I've demonstrated today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.